What do we have going on here? Behind me is the iGUS Rebel, and I've been calling this the V0 Rebel because this has 50 to 1 gear ratio in the bigger gearboxes, and it's the first robot that iGUS sent me. I bought this robot, uh, but luckily they've decided to uh, swap this robot for a new robot, which is in this box. Now this is, call it their V2, or V1 if you will, of the iGUS Rebel. It's basically the updated versions of this joint uh, that are in this one. I think they replaced some of the plastic parts with some aluminum parts, and I know that they have 70 to 1 gear ratio inside of the bigger uh, joints here. So I'm going to go ahead and set this aside. <clears throat> and let's go ahead and uh, grab my knife and pop this guy up on the stand and let's do a little bit of a impromptu unboxing video. So I'll go ahead and put this up here. We will open her up for you guys. Okay, let's go ahead and get this stuff out of here. So unlike last time, last time they just sent me um, just the brown box and the robot was right inside the brown box. But this time they sent me a nice white packaging, which I will, t I will show you in a second. So let's go ahead and pop this guy up so we can see nice white box. I guess rebel. It's got some carrying handles here. I believe this will probably slide out. So let's go ahead and, and push these down so we can go ahead and slide it out of the box. Looks like there's two boxes within here. Let's go ahead and take that off. I think we want to lay this down flat here. And let's go ahead and lift this open. So, it looks like... Now I had asked them if they would be so kind as to send me... Okay, so this is interesting. So they sent me the open source variant, I believe. But this time, they sent me a actual power cable and an emergency stop button. That's interesting. So the one that originally came just had um, basically some wires coming out the end here um, for the can and 24 volts. But this time they did send me an emergency stop. Now I don't know what I'll end up doing with that stuff because I have my own control box with power. Um, so we'll end up taking this out and taking a look at it though. Here's some instructions. Probably won't need those. And here's a power cable, which again, I don't think I will need because I have the open source version here. So probably won't need that because I have my own hookup. So same thing. I noticed that uh, the caps off of this one here and that cap is for hooking up to uh, a gripper. So the other one has the cap on it. Let's go ahead and set this puppy down. So we have two Rebels. Might as well show you e-stop button. Should twist it. So like I said, I don't have the actual onboard computer. So I don't really have a place to plug either of these things into. But so I'm going to set them aside for now. Um, let's go ahead and see what else is in the box here. Looks like there's some cables under here. Ethernet cable and they have a power uh, for, looks like European power, so I uh, don't need that either. Um, yeah, it looks like they sent me one that has, obviously I have tons of those here, um, but this is for European, so sell that aside. So I think that, yeah, that seems to be everything that's in here. Um, again, this is the open source variant, so it does not have the control box in the bottom. So with that, let's go ahead and set this box aside. A lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. And uh, let's put this thing up on the stand, and give it a shot. All right, so we have it up and running. I got it hooked up. Um, it's just the can high low and the 24 volts to the new robot. Remember, these have 71 gear ratios, so I just updated the code. Um, to run the bigger ones, I was told, as the 70 to 1. So let's go ahead and send this first one to 20 and back to 0. Okay, so that one's working. So let's go ahead and go to uh, each motor individually right now. So let's do J1. Let's reset that. 
It's not referenced. Let's go ahead and reference that. It's enabled, but it's not referenced. Let's go ahead and... All right, so now we sent a reference command. So let's go ahead and reset it now that it's been referenced and enable it. Let's go to 2, 0. Okay, so that one seems to be working. Let's go to negative 10. Okay, so it's, it's working. Um, so let's go ahead and do J2 now, or the third join actually. So let's reset that guy. It has not been referenced. We're going to enable him and send a reference command. All right, now he's been referenced. Let's reset it, enable it. Let's go negative five, zero. Okay, that one seems to be working fine. J3, so this one we're going to go ahead and reset. It's already referenced. We're going to enable him. Let's go to 20. Go to zero. That one's working. Now this is where it's going to be interesting. I was told the other gearbox is still of a 50 to 1 gear ratio, so let's see if that's true. So let's go to J4. Reset the errors. It's been referenced. Enable the motor. It's enabled. Let's go to 20. It seems to be working. And then finally, the last joint, J5. Let's go ahead and reset the errors. It's referenced. We'll enable it. Let's go to 20. Let's go to 0. Seem to be working. So now that they're all configured, we should be able to actually uh, run the entire robot. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually um, go ahead and uh, run on robot. I'm connected. Let's go ahead and... Okay. It, it worked. It went to where I wanted it to go. Let's go ahead and uh, maybe send it to like one of these positions. Let's go to Z like 20. Okay, I didn't like that. All right, doesn't like that top motor, so we're going to go ahead and actually connect to motor 5 and disable it. So that first, last one was um, jittering. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to maybe take a look at the um, acceleration and deceleration parameters and see if we can play with those. So I'm going to play with those and I'll get back to you. All right, so I tuned it basically. So basically I have some charts on my open source code, um, the, the uh, robot viewer. And the charts basically show the most important is the velocity um, actual versus the velocity set, right? So I have a set velocity and actual velocity. And the actual velocity was much higher. So I have basically a parameter that I can basically raise up and down to basically tune uh, my code to make sure that the velocities match. So I tuned it, so now they match. So I'm going to go ahead and disable this motor. And I'm going to go to the robot, and I'm going to try something I haven't tried yet. I'm going to connect to the robot, uh, and I am going to um, reset all the motors with my reset all motor command. So right now, I am actually going down and calling reset on every single motor. So I should be seeing referenced and aligned. I'm just looking referenced and aligned in my software. Referenced and aligned, referenced aligned, referenced aligned. Everything's referenced and aligned. Now I'm going to click my enable. So we should start seeing the uh, motors click on and go from the bottom to the, or sorry, the top to the bottom. So I enable that one and I go all the way down the robot. And I'm looking ready and enabled. Everything all the way up is ready and enabled and no errors, which is great because the other robot, uh, every once in a while, the joints were giving me some errors. So hopefully, that seemed to be working. Let's go ahead and um, maybe we run the dance program. So let's go ahead and send that back to home. So we're having no issues with the jitter anymore, which is I was having earlier before I tuned that, that properly. So what we're going to do now is we're going to actually... Um, not run on the robot. Let's go ahead and open this up. We're going to run uh, the dance routine. So let's go ahead and look for the dance routine. And let's go ahead and enable that. And we're going to run these waypoints. Um, so go ahead and run on the robot.
So it seems to be working fine. Um, I put it on repeat so it's going to run this one more time. Definitely sounds a little bit different than the other one did. Um, you can still hear the gears turning in there, but it sounds a little bit more whiny, uh, almost like um, I can hear one of the motors a little bit more. But there it is, running the same dance routine that I ran on the other robot. So, and, and this is pretty cool that I didn't have any joint errors this time. So um, the iGuess Rebel 70 to one updated version with the open source software running um, on my first try, I call it my second try. The first try, again, in my software, I have a value that tunes the velocity to make sure that the, the rate at which I send the position commands out, um, you know, matches the actual reported position back to me. Um, so on the old one, I had a value of 4.5. Um, you know, it's one of those magic numbers that I had tuned in there. And this one I bumped down to 3.25. So for whatever reason, with these new joints, maybe it's a new firmware version that they have running on those, uh, on all the joints, I had to basically adjust that to make sure that the velocities matched up. But other than that, um, pretty stoked. Uh, it's, it's working. Um, again, basically had to just tune it and it's working with the software. So open source, iGUS Rebel, um, definitely go check this out.